This is KBCI.blogspot.com. I'm George Boston Rhymes. We're down at Serenity Church where Reverend Floyd E. Rose is the senior servant. We have been talking about Valdosta City Hall, first floor, wherein they have pictures that are reflective of the 1800s all the way up to the present. But there is not one black African American building that our children, when they go to the schools and they take tours of the city government, we are not represented. I have brought this before the Valdosta Mayor, John Freddy, and at the last council meeting in 2012. I want to see some pictures that are reflective of black African Americans so our children can take pride and feel like their parents and our lineage means something to them when they go from all the various schools, the university, Wiregrass Technical College, etc. etc. Now, I have John Robinson here. I'm going to pass this off to him because as you all know, he's always talking about the economically oppressed people and too often it seems like they are forgotten. And we want you all to see that a lot of our businesses were destroyed by what, my beautiful brother? Mm -hmm. Tell them how. Well, during the construction of 1981, when they built the James Beck overpass there downtown on Patterson Street, and it killed the black businesses because they just landed that old big bridge right over on top of the black businesses. And what we have here is we're going to be discussing the effect that it had upon our community as a whole and how it just literally destroyed the community. Um, it left things unchanged on the south side. When, when they built that bridge there, they literally destroyed the entire south side. And what we want to do is we want to show you some old pictures of some of the old buildings and businesses that was there that was destroyed and when it was wiped down. And all right, these, brother. And now what we have here is Brother Ryan focusing in on some of these old buildings. And these businesses was it was established as early as the 1940s, all the way down through the 90s. And when they built the that old overpass in 1981. They landed it right down in front of these buildings and they didn't have no exit for them to get off to and it, and it strangled it strangled those businesses. And there was no way that we could survive it. And uh, where he's pointing at here, this is the McLean building. And at 408 South Ashley Street was built by Arthur Mac McLean and house many vital community businesses. See, there was more than one business in this building. So all this got wiped out and nothing was never done for on the, on the recovery as to let's, assistance for these people. Okay, let's go down to the next one down. Read just, a, just a few words on that second one down there. Now this other building here is four different businesses operated in this, in this building shown above. Eddie Pompey's, uh, billiard, billiard, billiard parlor was at 215 South Ashley Street in, the, in this photo. Okay, and, and in addition to that, one of the major points that we want to make here is that these pictures, pictures are available. That means that these pictures, any of these pictures, and there are others that could be on the first floor of Valdosta City Hall to show our children that black African Americans contributed something yes. to this area of Valdosta. And, and, and they did have businesses downtown. They had ownership. Had ownership. Uh, see, can you focus in on, on these names? Yeah, right that's here? right. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. And this, this is the Branch Street businesses. My, my glasses are not, I can't hardly see that okay. way. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. And I had to get off of close to see them. And it, it says Irene Jackson's uh, lunchroom. Okay. It, it was established in, in 1940, 1955. Um, V.E. Dashes Grocery, yeah. 1940 to 1960. Luther Wimbush Barbecue Stand, 1930-1950. Our Service Station and Cab Company, I remember them, 
1936 to 1980. Walker's Cap Service, 1940. Anderson Blacksmith, 1940. Scott and Sons Funeral Home, 1900s to 1990. And, and there, there are pictures around, I'm sure, that we can get to display in Valhausen City uh, uh, Hall. And this is what we intend to do. Carl Jones Beauty Salon, 1940. Wade's Barbershop, my God, 1946 mm -hmm. to the present. We can get that one. I'm going to make sure we get that one. G uh, Crover and Manor Pools Grocery and Mo Hotel, 1940, 1960. Stephen Funeral, 1940 to present. Oh, my God. Henry Buckner's Grocery Store, 1930, 1960. Henry William Duck and Cafe, 1940, 1950. John Mason Shoe Shop Repair, 1947, 1990. Ice Man's Pets, 1930 to 1960. Take over, my brother. Yeah, and, and these businesses were, were thriving businesses. And what we are saying is that not only just for review for City Hall, but to be able to show that there was businesses on the south side that was killed by that Patterson Bridge in that in that area in there. With no and money it, to relocate those businesses. Yes, and and, it, and this was a and this was vital. It was vital to the the lifeblood of this community. And over here we have Wells. Just just just, just one minute, just one minute, just one minute. What, what's that up there, Doc? The one in the corner, mastery on that same. Yeah, yeah, that's mastery. And Washington's barbershop. Isn't that something? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. And that was a beauty 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 salon. Okay. Yes, sir. And going on down to the bottom down there. What's that in the last one? I'm gonna get that's, it out. That's Valdosta uh our cab company inc. Okay. okay. All right. Now so, let's hit the circle you used to mind over here. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. Now the, this over here is Wells Shoe Store and Repairs. And it, and it was it was several different businesses in this area. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And th this all of this was 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 contributing to the economic cycle of the of, of the boost of the economy and we had our own and beyond a shadow of a doubt uh, mr robinson uh this also had to instill some kind of pride in black african-american children would you not say yeah, of course it did you know you know when, when, when you have places like these places here and that was thriving in business and and then all at once they they, they just they just go completely out and mm -hmm. go go under and and it's not from their own doings right okay now you can understand if it was from their own failure, but when it's when it's when it's promoted by poor planning mm -hmm. for metropolitan planners mm -hmm. organization in the city, that that says a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, are uh, we gonna back up a little bit, and we gonna we we're not finished yet. Uh, continue, continue, uh, brother Robson, tell him yes. what you are doing now to well, try to make a difference in the community, so some of these dollars can be redirected since the federal government. Have they, didn't didn't they do something to try to fix a little bit well, of the low income families? Well, what, what 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 really took place here is we are like the people in the, in the lost in the lost lands in the forgotten country, and we we already is a people in a country without a home, and it, it's vital for us to understand that here in Lowndes County, nothing has never been done in behalf of black people as far as economic the economically oppressed people. And we are trying to do some things that we filed a federal complaint against the city of Valdosta and Lowndes County. And we're hoping that this investigation can bring about some changes and people be able to look into the, these matters. Um, we stand here in a room that, that, that's loaded with, with history. Yes, sir. And to, 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 to that degree, I believe yes, that we we gonna be able to make some changes. Yes, sir. We want to show. There is so much I would like to show you all down here at Surrender the Church in Valdosta, Georgia. I recommend everybody that see this. I don't care where you at in the United States of America. You just may want to come down to Surrender the Museum of Black African American Art and Pictures and account of not only Valdosta but around the nation, Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, Elijah Muhammad, Louis Farrakhan, the Nation of Islam, Judaism, white right people like Lee Thurston, her accomplishments is in this place. Uh, Doc, uh, before we close this out, uh, I want you to walk over and stand by that picture so people will get a glimpse of what we went through as a people before we close this out, since everybody wanna talk about uh, we as black African Americans just uh, want handouts and stuff like that, and that 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 we are a people uh, without a history. Let me show you a little bit about heritage. Everybody want to talk about heritage, but let me show you a part 
of the Southern heritage that very few people want to talk about in terms of what happened to our ancestors. Uh, brother, will you tell me a little bit about this? Well, you see, those are the scars of time from the test massacre's whip. And we may not bear those scars, but we bear those same scars mentally from what we face from day to day. It's something that we may not be able to see physically that we can see this here, but we are forever scarred from the old taskmaster's whip and from the stroke of his pen and his judgment, from his so-called justice and equality of imbalance of the law. Okay, and would I be safe to say this may be something that Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck may not understand. Many black African Americans don't understand, but we've been through so much as a people and yet God has not left us alone. In America, My beautiful brother, go ahead and close this out for us. America is a nation within a nation. We are the people in a place without a home. We don't have no other country. Bush signed a document saying that we can stay here another 200 years. That means that we don't have a nation. Well, we claim America yes. from the blood stripes, from this from this what you've seen here. Yes, yes. So therefore, therefore, well, this is where we made our claim from. Yes, sir. Okay? From the blood that was shed. Yes, sir. As I close this clip out, kvci.blogspot.com, I must give credit to the Honorable, and I do mean Honorable, Reverend Floyd E. Rose and the work that him and his wife Stale has done in Brooks County, as well as over here in Valdosta. And the reason I say Brooks County is because of the fact that we galvanized over, over, over. To this continent, for some here, Africa. Yes. Over in Valdosta, they've done a great work. But the work of Reverend Minister Floyd Rose should be felt around the world. And isn't that a beautiful picture? The continent of Africa intertwine with the United States of America. And let all the people of God say amen. This is kvci.blogspot.com on YouTube, Boston GBR and Doc Ghetto Child. If you all are wondering why me and Doc spend so much time together, well, that's our business. You take care of yours and we gonna take care of ours. Bye-bye, we go.